Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a little hangout chat magazine harvest together. I recently was doing some journaling and I was looking for like a couch image and I didn't feel like I had enough couches in the size I was wanting and who knows if we'll find anything like that but I just thought I'm gonna go through some more like house kind of magazines today and just see what I can find in there because that felt I felt like I had energy towards that idea so I pulled out two magazines here I've not chopped through these ones before I don't think so let's go let's see what we can find in them um I love magazine harvesting it's one of my favorite things to do do I use the things that I pull out? Very rarely. <laughs> Not as often as I would like to. But I love harvesting magazines. It is so much fun. So let's jump in and see what we can find. Oh, look at all of that. those are different plates of food. I love that. They look really cool. I'm going to pull that out. I won't cut everything up individually at this point. But like, what can I see here? There is like sushi. There is like what is that don't know hard to see this is like a cake with custard this looks like maybe cookies perhaps uh, it's hard to see this is some fish this is a soup these I think would be great in my collage calendar like they're just quite little wee images I really like them so I'm gonna cut those out I'll just pop that over to the side for now um but I won't cut them up with you guys right now um kind of like the, these words set sail on a moonlit voyage that's kind of fun or august is a good word there we'll, we'll see what we come across um if i want to keep them i think that this will probably because this is my first pass through this magazine i don't normally throw it out after one go sometimes but not often i actually think i'm going to cut out those words i want i want i want because the last day of october was the day that my family has set that you must have your Christmas wish list in. So I was writing my Christmas wish list on that day and I have not journaled that day at this point. So I feel like if I, I could put I want, I want, I want on my on my journal page and that that feels fun, like a fun idea to me. So I'm gonna cut out those words I want, I want, I want. Because I don't know, that just feels like a fun thing to add to my Christmas wish list kind of spread. So we'll pop them over to the side. I should have got a vessel in which to hold them, but I have not. I think I'm going to cut out this picture of a hand holding this like phone or something. Because again, I think that that is something I can use. There's often, I might be talking about something I was watching on my phone or um, work I was doing on my phone or something like that. So I'm going to just chop around this. Because um, I do feel like that's a pretty usable image for me. Um, a hand holding a phone. Is there anything else here that I like the look of? Not particularly. And there's nothing there. So we'll get rid of that page. That can go straight in the bin. This page I've actually used before. And I'm going to take it again. Um, oh, this is hard on the old hands. Oh, I'm doing a bad job. But I feel like this is great for collaging. Um, this is also a fun kind of collageable. Collageable. Is that a good word? Collageable. Um piece there so we'll take that and we'll cut things down from there I want to pull out these parts because if you leave them I feel like it then makes every page rip badly if you leave the badly parts in there the badly parts gosh the words today okay do I need anything there no not particularly I do like that I'm going to take that I'm going to be really looking there's a little mug there and I do really love oh what does that say talking about some pottery mugs you guys know I'm a pottery fiend love myself some pottery I just think that little mug is a cute one so I'm going to take a little mug and add that to either I'll add it to my I think it probably won't go on my coffee stuff I think it's probably going to go into my section of collage calendar images because it's quite little I think it fits that probably better so this now I don't need this some of these parts are kind of interesting colors um I don't need too much but we'll take some of that as just like interesting collage fodder I don't need it at all I've got so many bits I'm looking at this there's actually quite a lot here that I could use again this is interesting for collage 
I like this little tea set here. So I think I'm going to cut around the tea set. I need to not be too fussy about the cutting because my hands are still sore. So I should just cut what I need to cut and then leave the rest. I quite like all of that for collage. This part I'm going to biff. But that part looks like it could be a fun collaging part. So we'll leave that. Now I'm looking for couches. I'm looking for art. I love cutting out like art from the walls of people's houses because it can be really fun in my journal. But it has to be the right sort of thing. I am still going to be a little bit particular. Um, there's so far nothing here that is like really calling to me. Um, I do really like this chair, but I don't think I'd use it like that. Oh, I do like that little cat. I'm going to take that cat, actually. Just like that. I love a good cat. I'm going to take this as well, um, because I do think this is a cool image for maybe, like, having a thunderstorm or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to take that fun image it's just a goodie i've used i've used that ad before too for the lightning i'm pretty sure what else can we find i like this door have i have i had this magazine before i feel like maybe i've seen some of well, like a good amount of this before so maybe yes maybe no but we'll take that door because i like that door it's a fun one I'm feeling like I maybe have, have had this magazine perhaps in the past, but I don't know. Um, I'm looking for nice homeware things, but we'll see if I like this. I want to reflect my personality. I kind of like that. I do like this pottery. Or what, is it pottery or is it tin? It actually looks like it's tin um, jug thing. I think that would look kind of fun on the side of a page. Um, this is a dog made out of metal, and I like it. It looks like a beautiful old dog. Take that. Um, do I want the washing machine? I've got quite a few, and I barely ever use them, so probably I don't need it. Um, do I want to take this piece of couch? Maybe I want pieces of couch, to just if I'm talking about couch days, just to have sitting on the edge of it. This is just beautiful colours. This I have I have seen this. I've used this page before. I am quite sure I have in fact had this magazine before. That is so funny. Um, I like this. I love this. This beautiful pottery vase, the old books, the orchids. Beautiful. I'm going to take that for collage or something. Um, anything here that I'm drawn to? Not particularly. Thinking in pictures. Hmm. So fun. So fun looking at people's houses and how they decorate things. My house is not a decorated house. I wish it was. Uh, my house is just full of random eclectic trash that I pick up. <laughs> and I love it. Um, I love it. I love having random stuff. I would like to, at some point... I like these wings up here. Um, I would like at some point to have like a house that I feel looks mm, like I've put it together, sort of like like it's deliberate and not just like accidental placements of all sorts of bits, um, which is what it is at the moment. I kind of am obsessed with all of this orange in here. I think I want to use some of this for collage, but I think I'm going to leave it now. I'm not going to this will not be my final go through of this, so I'll leave that for now. Um, I love stained glass windows. I would love stained glass windows on my house. I would love that. I don't think my husband would love that, but I would. This tree is really interesting. I actually think I'm going to take that tree. I don't know why. I'm just sort of drawn to it. Um, these are really cool really cool little stone buildings oh they're so interesting look at that how cool how cool i feel like it looks like it's going to be really cold in there though i could be totally wrong it could be actually very cozy just everything being stone just to me feels coldies and i don't like to be cold um 
this hair I like. I'm going to take this. It's lots of poppies and some sort of maybe like calendula or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's very cute. And I like that for this time of year where there's lots of spring flowers and summer flowers coming along. Love it. Um, okay, anything else? Anything else? What's catching my eye? Oh, I like these words, good life. I like that a lot. So let's, I'm actually going to cut this whole thing off the side here. I really like what this whole thing has to offer. Ow, I just snipped myself a tiny bit, like it didn't cut. Uh, like I like, I think I would cut out a lot of these little elements because I think that they're really cute, like the little secateurs and the egg and the peas and the salt and pepper and the pear and the cherries and the words. I think there's a lot there that I would like to cut up. So I'll take that. That's very fun. Isn't it interesting how different people will take different things? Is there anything here that I've skipped past that you might have taken? I'm definitely taking this little rat mouse because it's actually very sweet. Um, and we do get a lot of mice in our house on occasions. We have a cat and she brings them in. So I'm sure I can use that to document a situation. I might take this little, oh, okay. I'm going to pull that page out. I'm going, I can see that I can take both. I'm going to take this little master painters. My husband is a trade qualified painter. So he might, if he's painting somewhere, I might be able to use that. I really like this little ginger. I don't know what that is. Little root vegetable of some sort and a little like beetroot or something. I just think they're really cute. Cute little illustration, so I'm going to take those. Um, the frumpy road to love. <laughs> How funny. Um, anything else I want from here? No, that can go on the bin. I've got master painters here again. I love fireplaces, but I feel like they are not quite, not quite right. I like fireside. I'm going to definitely take that word. What was that? Okay, that piece. Oh, I'm going to take that fire side because I do really like that. I actually might just go all the way up like that because I feel like that's got a cozy vibe for winter time or something. Um, I do quite like this, but I know I'm never going to use it. Home comforts. I don't feel like that's as readable as I would want it to be. I feel like if I cut it out, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take it. I do love a good soup. I think I'm going to take, actually, I think I'm going to go like this. Because I've cut into it, so I'm going to run with that fact and kind of cut it like that and then cut it out like this. And I think that if I'm having some lovely, cozy pumpkin soup or something, I can stick that on the side of the page and that will document it for me. Um, do I want to do it with this one as well? Why not? Why not? Uh, because you don't have space in your food bucket. Oh, well. Um, I think we're taking it anyway. I just like how that looks. I think, again, on the side of a page, if you're having some nice soup, that looks yummy. Um, so these can go in the bin. This is a, looks like a lovely cheese bread, but I don't think I'll be taking that. Um, don't think I need anything here. I'm actually going to take this massive plate of food. What is that? That looks like a massive plate of meat with a Brussels sprout on top. I don't need the man, but I think I'm going to take that because my husband can eat like that. <laughs> I think I think that would be a funny way to document him eating sometime. Um, I don't need any of this, I don't think. Oh, thick and spicy hot chocolate. I have not, I'm unsure how I feel about the idea of thick hot chocolate. I am unsure about that idea. I do like the marshmallows, actually. So I'm going to take those because we did, in fact, have a little bonfire night not too long ago. And that page in my journal isn't done. And I feel like I could stick that image onto that page and it could be kind of good. Um, anything down here that I would want? There's a little tiny burger. And I think I'm going to put that into my collage calendar. Because burgers are one of my husband's favourite foods. And he gets them all the time when we're out. So I think that could be used to maybe document that. I don't know. Do I want anything here? Um, no. 
moving along, moving along, moving along. I'm going to take the wine bottles because these are a nice little size and often I can't find wine bottles in this little size. And I do like to sometimes put them in my college calendar or somewhere in my journal if I have been having wine. Sometimes I like to document that. So we're going to take these nice little bottles and add them to my stack of things. And then that can go on the bin. Dressings. Nope. Oh, liquid gold. That looks yummy. That's a caramel sauce recipe. That looks very yummy. Um, chocolate? No, what's that? Shortbread with a whiskey caramel filling. Hot dog. Hot dog. That looks delicious. I'm taking that recipe. Um, what is it? How do you make a whiskey caramel filling? <gasps> okay, I'm taking that. That sounds absolutely freaking delicious. I am taking that to add to my recipe journal because that sounds really yummy. And recently, if you've been watching my videos, you might have heard me talk about the fact that I'm quite into shortbread. So that sounds... I actually think I may want to become a shortbread connoisseur, you know? Start making all sorts of different types of lovely shortbreads and really become a shortbread chef, master chef. So that is going to be a helpful recipe for my journey towards incredible shortbread so I'm gonna take that what else do we have here oh anything good oh peanut butter I want to take that I want to take this little peanut butter what's this is this a movie the hundred foot journey hmm. maybe I'll watch that who knows I'm gonna take the peanut butter because I do love peanut butter so that would be a fun little image to have. Um, the rest of it, I don't think I am in need of. Um, yeah, okay. Don't think I'm in need of any of that. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, yum. Crumpets and bagels. I'm going to take this little bit down here. Because I do love these little um, crumpets from this brand. So I'll take that. This up here I actually really like as well. I feel like there's something kind of cool about some of this. So I think I'm actually going to take that whole page just for collaging. Horseradish, no thank you. Not a me thing. Not a horseradish girly. Um, what does this magazine look like? Country and Comfort. I was seeing if it was on here because I thought I could... I mean, I might just take one that looks sort of similar. This one's orange and that one's orange. So let's just take it. I might put it in my journal to document cutting up magazines today. So that could be good. Um, I might take the paint brushes. Yeah. Because again, my husband's a painter. We're also looking to paint our lounge sometime soon-ish. Um, so they could be cool on the side of a page or something again for documenting painting. So we'll take that. Don't need anything there. Hmm, what is that? don't know. Uh, let's take these sunflowers. I think they're fun. I'm not going to take the really dark ones in the background. I'm just going to take these bright ones up the front. I think that would look really fun in summertime in my journal. And summertime's on its way and I'm excited. It's getting warmer and warmer all the time. I started noticing last night that I'm not even thinking about the fact that we're not lighting the fire every night. Like, it was an every night you must light the fire, obviously, through the winter. And now it's like half, like 50-50, probably even less than 50% of the time we're lighting the fire now. And I didn't even notice that it had changed. So that's been interesting. Um, what else have we got in here? This is cool. This is a glass vase. I really like that. I'm going to take that neat image. Oh, hacking, man, aren't I? I'll be cutting around it nicer later, but I like that, so we'll take it. Um, anything here that is interesting me? I like these words, create a home with heart. I feel like I could use it as a whole, or I could use the word create. I could, create, oh, I could use the word home or with heart. I feel like there's a lot in there that feels usable. Shop window... Um, 
I think I'll take the word Christchurch. That's my nearest city. Um, and we go there decently often. And that I like using these words sometimes in like my collage calendar and things just to note that we were in the city. So that's going in my collage calendar bin. Um, so yeah, take that. I don't need to take the rest of it. I am very rarely in Auckland or Wellington. And I don't think I've been to Palmerston North. I think I've driven past it before, but I've never stopped. Um, it's in the North Island. All the other cities that are mentioned here are in the North Island. So I am not on that island. So I do not go there very often at all. Just checking if there's anything I wanted in here. So far, no. Although this little radio is pretty neat. But it's got this word new on it. And I don't know if I... I might take it. I feel like I could make it work. And I do think it's quite fun. And... I could use it for when I'm listening to music and things like that. So we'll take this little, fun little radio. Okay, I do often like to take little clocks. Um, okay, I love the words hot from the kiln. I'm going to take that for sure. So let's pull this page out and see what we want here. I love hot from the kiln. That is top tier words for me because that, can be for documenting pottery things. I love it. Um, and I like the word pottery as well. So I'm going to also take that because, again, that can go on my collage calendar for when I'm having a pottery night. Um, so that is going in the collage calendar bin of things. It's so tiny. I'll never find it if I put it anywhere else. Um, what else could I want? Let's go with those words down there too. Introducing a new glaze. I like them. And again, they're tiny, so they are going into the collage calendar. There is actually a new glaze at the Pottery Studio that I want to try out. So maybe when I try it out, I'll be able to use it. Use those little words. Um, the clock is still there, so that's cool. We'll take that little clock. That's also going to go in the collage calendar thing. That's good for all sorts of reasons. Um, oh, I like these chairs. Let's take these, this couch and the chairs up here because, again, they'll go on my collage calendar, um, but they're just a nice small size that if I'm sitting in a chair or on the couch all day, they can be used. I'll cut them individually, but I'm just going to leave them like that for now. That's going in the collage calendar section. Anything else? Anything else that I could use? I think... We might take these ones. These look like little pottery things. Again, I can use that to document going to pottery, perhaps. So that's fun. I'll take that. All right, that one actually had quite a good amount of little bits in there. I'm happy with that. Very pleased. Um, okay, I like this tractor a heap. So we're going to definitely take that. Let's pull it out and once again, see what we can find. There's lots in this. So we're going to take this little tractor for sure. I think I might take the little truck as well. Um, I might also take this. It is not a digger. I think it's a forklift. Um, but I'm just going to take some of these because they are cute little images. I think I'm going to probably take them all, actually. Why not? And they will, again, go in my collage calendar because they're quite small. And they'll be good. Like, this is a little plane. If I'm going on a flight, which I am soon, then they'll be usable. So those can go in the collage calendar. Is there anything else I need here? I like that word play. Play is a good word. Take that. That can just go with my regular words. That's enough of a size that I can. Over here, I do love these gumboots. So those will go on my collage calendar as well. Just little individual as individuals. You know, pairs of gummies. They're good. Um, and that's all I think I'm going to need from there. Okay, what have we got here? Anything? Mm, nothing's really drawing me in there, actually. Over here. I might take the word dad. In Father's Day, maybe. We'll take those. Because, you know, they're usable. Dad and Father's Day. anything else here I want hmm. not overly not overly I don't think I need it 
uh, and I don't need anything there. So we're, we're almost at the end of this one now, guys. We are getting close. We're pulling into the end. I do like these, actually, and there's some neat pottery stuff. I'm going to take that whole page because I think I could use the word heartfelt. I think I could use this pottery thing. These are quite fun. I think there's a lot there, so I'm going to take that whole page. Okay, look at us go. That magazine has been cut through. Hooray! Okay, let's have a look through the second one. Let's have a look through. What are we going to find this time? I'm just going to try and scoot these a bit further over to the side. I hope that I'm in frame. I am unsure if I am. Let me have a sip of my coffee. I really hope I've been in frame for this. I apologize if I haven't. Um, there are some little couches down here. However, they are on this cardstock and I don't see myself using them. So we're going to leave the little couches for now. Um, this one's a bit of a larger magazine, isn't it? Uh, this couch is kind of cool, but it's sort of cut off and it's unusual angle. So I think I'm going to not take that one. Again, it's unusual high up angle. Okay, we've got our great little coffee cup here. And I actually like this rug too. I feel like the rug I could see myself using as like a background to something else, like as a journaling card or like a spot that I could stick a little photo on top of, like a mounted, I don't know. I just think it's kind of interesting and fun. Um, again, the coffee cup I would probably take. So I will. Oh gosh, I'm doing a terrible job of cutting things out. Look at that janky cutting. My gosh. All right. This is such an unusual image. Look at all these mirrors all around this car. Um, nope. Anything here? I'm just trying to have a really good look. Oh, look, this is a little loose piece. Take that out. Um, anything here? I like this chair. That chair is quite fun, and I like. I guess I like the contrast of it on of the blue on the brown color. I really love that blue and brown together. Look, that's very cool. This is a bit too big, I think, but I do like this stack of magazines with the phone on top. That's sort of fun, isn't it? Um, I love the pottery here, so let's pull that out. If I can, it's hard on my hands. Gosh, it's hard on my hands. Um, I do really like that pottery image, so we'll steal that. Um, anything here? No. Out it goes. This is kind of a fun chair, but I don't know that I'll take that one. I'm just not feeling drawn to it. This is really good contrasty collage fodder. So is that side. So let's take that as a collage page because I could use the black and white or I can use some of this like really fun, interesting, colourful pieces. So we'll take that one. Um, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. I'm not drawn to any of that. What about this? Anything there? No. Nothing there. Anything here? Again, not particularly. Like it's kind of interesting, but I just don't see myself really using any of it. So... I'm not going to pull it. I do love this leaf here and this dog. This We had a dog that was an old English sheep dog when I was a kid growing up. And he was the coolest. His name was Toby. And he was the best dog. I'll take a little Toby dog. And I love this leaf. I actually kind of like the words with it too that says, look to nature for colour inspiration. I think I'm going to just cut right like that. Kind of just like it. It looks like a junk journal-y thing already. And it's kind of fun. So we'll take that and just, excuse me, I'm just maneuvering my, my body on the seat. I like this partial light bulb as well. Again, it's sort of cut off, but I think on the side of the page, it would be fine. So we're going to take that as well. Biffing that. Flag your table. I will never, ever put a New Zealand flag on my table. <laughs> oh, no way. Um, not that I dislike New Zealand, I'm just not really into the, the vibes of the flag. Like, it's just very blue and red and white and not really my aesthetic. These books are kind of, like, it's not real books, they're fake books. They're a picture of books on this edge of this table, and I feel like that's kind of interesting. So I'll take that. I'm kind of interested in... I don't know what I'm doing here. 
there's that little bird cut out of a book. I don't know. I don't probably think I'll use it, but I'm taking it. This camel's kind of interesting, but again, I don't see myself really using it. I like this couch. I do think that that couch could be quite fun to use on a journal spread somehow. It's a good couch. It's, what do the words say? No, nothing there. I like that camera. It's a really big image of a camera. It's actually, do I like it? It's got this grey hand on it, and that kind of gives me the creeps. I think I'll take this camera down here. The grey hand is giving me the creeps, so I don't think I want it. This is very fun. I'll take this part here as kind of a collage fodder piece, I think. It's sort of interesting. Again, it could look really cool on the on a page and then you layer things over the top of it. I just love this colour, this like olivey colour. It's so good. This couch is, look, looks really cosy. It looks like it is made of a duvet. I like this bit down here. This part down here just looks like, again, I don't know, just like fun collage fodder for me. Take that. A lot of folded over pages. Must have given somebody a lot of inspiration. Um, I'm looking at this. I'm looking, do I want this? I think I'll take the teapot, but these cups are all sort of on top of each other in a way that I don't feel like is easily usable for me. So I'll take the teapot. And I do kind of like that. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. Anything else here? I do love this. Especially this brighter zone here. I really like that. But again, I'm going to leave it just for now. Mm. You know what? I'm going to take it. Because it's very springy. And if I leave it, I might not come back to it. And then it won't be spring anymore. So we'll take it for now. This chair is fun. But it's a bit... The, like the image is quite dark. Except for... I don't know. I don't think it will read well. Um, so I'm going to leave it. Not as much, I don't think, taking my fancy in this magazine. This magazine feels a bit more, I don't know, just not as much my style, perhaps. I wonder what year this magazine was. 2008, and I think that's probably why, as it just feels a bit dated for me. Um, I like this little phone. Again, just phones in general are quite dated things now. Who still has a landline? We do not anymore. But it wasn't that long ago that we had one. I think we probably got rid of our landline maybe this year even. So I can't remember if it was this year or last. No, yeah, probably this year that we got rid of our landline. But we do not have one now. Um, Because we can use Wi-Fi calling. So I don't feel the need to continue having a landline. Landlines are really expensive and basically we were just paying to have scam callers ring me multiple times a day. Had so many scam callers and it was driving me nuts because almost no one I actually knew rang me. People just texted me. So I would have to answer the phone all the time and it was almost exclusively people ringing me to try and scam me. I love this bowl. That's really pretty. So we stopped paying like... $70 a month for scam callers. So that was really nice. These roses are very beautiful down here. I love these like antique vintage kind of toned roses. You know the ones that are like pink that have like a slight brownness to them. Oh, so pretty. This little dog is cute. I don't know why I always take animals. I don't even use dogs very often in my journaling because I don't have a dog. But he seems so sweet. So I will take him. Anything else here? I think I'm going to take this horse because my sister has horses and sometimes I might want to be documenting and her horses actually look quite similar to this horse so we'll take it. This is such an interesting fireplace. This basket of pumpkins I quite like. I'm going to take this basket of pumpkins. It's not probably, it's in fact not at all the right season for pumpkins, but I'm going to take it nonetheless. Anything here? No. Actually, I might take that word sleep. Do I want anything here? No. 
I think I'm going to take the word sleep. I think that's a good word. Anything else? When was the last time you guys harvested a magazine? I feel like it's just one of my fabie things to do. It's so relaxing and so... I don't know, there's just a lot of fun to it. This stack of books is pretty fun. I'm going to take that. And I'm also going to try and take the words cafe kitchen. Why? I don't know. Just I guess I've got a coffee machine in my house, so it's a cafe kitchen in a way. Look at my good cutting. Cafe kitchen. That I'm just going to trim down and I'm going to put it straight into my collage calendar because, again, it's too small to put in my words because it's just going to get lost in there. I actually want to take this word possum. The amount that Freya talks about possums is quite a decent amount, so I just feel like there's going to be reasons for me to use that word. Um, so I'll take possum. Anything else? There's probably a lot more. I like this like wonky, I like this couch, and I like this warped looking clock. This couch is so weird, it looks like something from a Dr. Seuss book or something, but I really like it. Um, and yes, I can take that warped looking clock. It's pretty fun. I enjoy. Um, nothing else I don't think here. There's nothing for me. Oh, I love the texture on this and I love this little shape up here. So let's pull that out and see how much of this we can take. Take that bit. I just quite like it. Anything else there that I'm into? No, mm, no. Then I think this has got great texture on it. So I'm going to take that whole page for collage. It just looks so, so fun. Um, nothing here. Oh, I like this little plant, maybe. I'm going to take that little plant. I'm unsure about taking the others. This one's sort of cut off at the top. So is that one. I think I'm going to leave them. I don't think I need them. This is cool kind of pottery stuff. So we might take that. Oh, look at that. That's really interesting texture too. I might just save that whole page and see what I end up using. Again, some fun pottery bits. So I'm going to take that whole page. I could use this part. I could use this really cool leaf. These pottery vessel things I really like. So I'm going to take the whole page. I can kind of cut it down as I see fit. More pottery things that I could use. Oh, I love her. She's fun. I'm going to take this. And once again, we're going to cut out different pottery things that I want. When I say we, I mean I'm going to do it off camera. Because you guys, it's going to take me a while. My hand is getting very sore now. So, oh, look at these neat girls. They're cool. It's a shame that this one is on top of this one. I don't know which one I'm going to take, so I'm just going to take the whole page for now. Let's see. This one doing her groceries. I wonder if I can get both of them. I don't think I can. Ah, I can't. This girl, I think, is going to get chopped and just be the top half of her so that I can get this girl having a cup of coffee reading a book because I love her and I love the coffee machines. I'm going to cut up a lot of that. That's fun. This beautiful lady having a glass of wine. This beautiful lady baking. Oh, I love these ladies. I wish they weren't on top of each other all the time. It makes it so hard for me to use it. This cooking... Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wonder if I can get both of them. No, once again, they're on top of each other just a bit. So I'm going to have to make decisions, but they're so cute. I wish I looked this glamorous making dinner. I never do. Um, but they are really fun. So we'll take those and I'll try and use them where I can. Um, I like this frame. That's pretty fun. So I'm going to take that frame up there. Do I like... I quite like these comfy looking chairs. They look nice. And I like this little horse knight person. So I will take the chairs... take the little knight I don't know it's kind of fun little fantasy guy I don't know um anything else no that's cool that can go in the bin I do not need that 
Um, oh, these are fun little pottery things again. Take them. Take them. Oh, they can go there. And then put the rest of that. Anything else? Oh, what have we got here? I kind of really love this bit here with the trees. And I think that it would make kind of maybe I could fold it over and make a cute tab on my journal page. That's about all I can think to do with it. But I like it enough that I'm willing to take it. Um, anything in here? I do love all of these windows, but I wouldn't use them in journaling. So we'll slide on by them. Anything else? No, but these couches we might take because they're a nice little size again for my collage calendar. Although, do I love the cows? I think I think I love the cows, actually. I can really see me using them on the bottom of a journaling page or something. So I'm going to take them. I love this. This gives me vibes of my childhood. They use these big stencils like this uh, in the shearing shed on like big bags of wool. Um, I don't need the people at all, but I do really like this part. So I don't need that guy, but I like that part. So we'll take it for now. Um, I don't need any of that. Mm -mm. No. No. That's lovely, but I'm not going to take it. Um... Still no, I'm kind of tempted by this fridge, but it's quite large, so I don't think so. Uh, we might take this little laundry basket, because I do sometimes like to document doing the washing. I document very boring, everyday things, like doing laundry. That's something I actually do bother to journal about. So, you know, sometimes, not always, but sometimes. What have we got here? We've got this little fountain. It's pottery, but I don't know if I want it. I don't know, I'm just not really vibing it. I like this, and I love the word arcade, so we'll take those. Because sometimes James and I like to go to the arcade. And I think that that would be great words for if we have gone to an arcade for the day. So we'll just take... Oh, be careful. Don't cut the chair that you're trying to cut out. We'll take those and we'll take them separately. Because I'm not planning to use them together. But I love that word. That's going to go on my... I think it's going to go on my collage calendar bits. Um, It could have gone on my others. I don't know. And then we'll take the next the neat green chair. I just love that colour green. Um, anything here? No. Anything here? No. Nope. And that is that. Okay, I think we're going to call that video done because my wrist is getting quite sore now and I have got some really great bits. I'm very pleased with my, it's actually a really chunky, heavy, decent stack of bits we've cut out and that isn't all of it because we've also got these full collage pages as well off to the side here. Um, so there's actually quite a lot we've torn out. So that was a very successful magazine harvest. Thank you very much for being here, my friends. I appreciate you greatly and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.